Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to change the pitch of any song that you have in an audio file. And in order to do this, we're going to use the free program Audacity. You will be able to change the key in either a section of the piece or the entire track. This will allow you to transpose your music into another key. Let's get started. So as mentioned, to get started with transposing your audio file, you're going to want to download and install Audacity. And you can just head over to Google and look up Audacity download, and then it'll be one of the first ones that pops up. And so you'll head over to this audacityteam.org slash download, and then you'll want to download the correct version for your computer. If you have any problems with downloading and installing your software, I have another video you can check out uh, that has the complete step-by-step -step on how to do that. So once you have Audacity downloaded, you'll want to open it up, and then you're gonna to wanna to have the file imported that you are working on. And so I've got a melody line here. And I'm going to go ahead and play this track so you can hear the melody in the key that it is currently written in. So that gives you an idea of the key that it is, and it's currently in the key of G. Now, in order to change this track into another key, what I need to do is have it selected. You can either select the entire track by clicking this gray area here, or you can have the selection tool highlight it and then just highlight the part that you want to have uh, changed. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and just have a part changed. And I'm going to go ahead and select this part. And then with that selected, you're going to go up to effect. And then you're going to click on change pitch. So this will bring up the change pitch dialog screen. And Audacity has an algorithm that uh, checks to see what key it's in. And it says that it's in the key of C. And actually, that is not correct. This is in the key of G. So uh, I need to set that to G. It will give me an option of what I would like to convert the sound to. So if I want to go to the key of F, if I keep it to the key of G, it's the same. Now, these numbers are what octave uh, G you're working with. So if you were looking at a keyboard, you know, uh, zero would be the lowest octave, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth octave. And I want to keep the key similar to that. So let's go ahead and bring this down to the key of F. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And so it's still F, but the fifth octave. And so in other words, it's known as two semitones. Now, when I selected that, you notice it changed this part, bottom part here. And this is uh, the frequency or the percent change um, from the original file. Now, if you, uh, you press OK here, that will be fine. But if you click this, use high quality stretching, um, it just takes a little longer. Uh, but uh, I'm going to click that so that we get a better quality of pitch change here. Okay, so now it has converted that part to the key of F. So I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, let's say, right here. And then we'll play, and you'll be able to hear the, the key change. Okay, so you can hear that it was changed to a different key on that section. And whenever you are using the uh, pitch change tool, uh, you want to keep in mind that the further you change the pitch from the original, the more um, distortions you may get in your file. And again, if you use the high quality, that might uh, cut down on the amount of distortions you get. But uh, again, just keep that in mind. The, the further you take this, uh, it'll, it will change the sound uh, so that it might not sound like the, the attacks might not sound the same. So that is how you can transpose it from one key to another key. Now, if you want to have a more finer precision with your transposition, you come down here to the frequency tool and you can go ahead and take the frequency that it's currently at and then change it to a different frequency. And this will uh, give you, again, much more precise uh, pitch change for the music that you're working on in Audacity. Now, if you're not happy with the pitch change and how it was converted onto the audio file, you can go ahead and undo that by pushing Control Z, and that will undo uh, your last action. You can also go up to Edit and then Undo, and that way you can bring it back to the original format. And so when I was listening to that, I noticed like, that the pitch change occurred at the end of another note. So you heard the bend down at the end of that note. So if I were to zoom in here and then just press control and zoom wheel here, I can get a more precise at uh, where the attack happens. So maybe start right there and then do the pitch change forward. And so that's one way you can um, do that and, and change the file itself. If you're happy with the file that you created, you can go ahead and export by going up to file and then export, and then you can export it as an MP3 or a WAV. That way you can have the completed track in the key that you are looking for. 
You now know how to change the pitch of the music that you are working on in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.